Anyway, the offer today is John 3, 16. Amen? Somebody say that with me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. God so loved the world that he gave. He gave the very best he had. On Memorial Day, I think of those who gave the very best they had for our freedoms and our liberties that we get to enjoy. Amen. So when it comes to giving, you always want to do your best. Amen. Hallelujah. So Father, I just thank you today that, Father, we give as a given unto the Lord, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, for the great gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now, ushers, if y'all go forward, we'll get right back to where we were a minute ago. Rusty, where are you at? We are rolling. We are rolling. Amen. So they're probably going, what is going on there today? Well, if you're watching by internet today, we welcome you. Uh, today's a, a kind of a different service, a little bit abbreviated, so uh, hang with us a little bit. If you would, open your Bibles this morning to 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter. Glory to God. Glory to God. Here, here, First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse um twenty three. Paul says this. He says, "For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup, when he had supped, saying, This cup." is the uh, New Testament, or the New Covenant in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often, verse 26, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes again. Glory to God. I was thinking, you know, tomorrow's Memorial Day. Amen. We're going to celebrate tomorrow, Memorial Day tomorrow. And to so many people, it's just, a, you know, another day off. It's like a, a three-day weekend, and, and we all enjoy three-day weekends, I'm sure. But to those who have lost someone, you know, in service uh, due to military action, it, it, it means it means a lot more than that. I'm always reminded of Mr. Ray. And some of y'all may remember Mr. Ray. He passed away, went home to be with the Lord uh, several years back. But one Memorial Day, we were having a picnic like this, and and I said, and he was a veteran, a very proud veteran. And I, and I said, Mr. Ray, thank you for your service. And he looked me in the eyes. And he said, Don't thank me today. He said, Today is not my day. He said, Veterans Day is my day. He said, Memorial Day. It's for those who have gone, gone home to be of the Lord. Those who have given the ultimate price in the line of duty in some form or fashion. He said, he said so today, my name, and you know, I never really, I never thought about that. It never crossed my mind, you know what I'm saying? And so I always remember that when Memorial Day rolls around. You know, this is a day that we've set aside to remember and honor those who have given their lives in the service of, of their country. We have freedom today, guys. The freedoms we enjoy today because of brave men and women soldiers who sacrificed uh, for a country that they love. I think that as an American, it's our, um, it's our duty, it's our patriotic duty uh, you know, to honor those who have gave that, paid that price, who have spilled their blood uh, to make America what she is today, free and strong and a nation worth fighting for. You know, some people got varying views of their country, but I'm like, I can tell you this, you wouldn't want to live nowhere else. There's nothing Amen. like America. And, um, and like one guy put it so well, if you don't like it so much, you're free to leave. You have that. Because people fought for your country, you are free to leave if you don't like it. <laughs> Another saying that people use like that, but we ain't going to say it here today. <laughs> Something about the screen door, but anyway. <laughs> In fact, every American ought to recognize this thing. Our Declaration of Independence, uh, probably the greatest document outside of the Bible itself. In the history of mankind, it, it makes this statement. It says, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these, now these, ain't all, these aren't all of them, but among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. July 4th, 1776, they, 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 they penned that. Oh, we're free today, church, to exercise our right to preach the gospel because of the sacrifice that men and women have made um, for that. We're free today to live at peace in our homes. We're free to enjoy these, these, these freedoms that we have to pursue. Uh, we have the right to pursue uh, peace and prosperity and happiness because of the price that men and women have paid on behalf of our country in their service. And so uh, as we prepare to uh, 
enter into tomorrow um, to remember those who died for our liberties, our nation's liberty. It's fitting, in my opinion, to remember the one who died to set us free from a spiritual tyranny, the Lord Jesus Christ. Can you say amen? Let mm-hmm. me understand that Jesus lived, fought the armies of hell that we might have freedom, glory to God, that we might, in his holy name, that we might, because of his sacrifice, our every need is met. And he said this when we read it. He said, do this in remembrance of me. Remember what I did. Glory to God. Our church, uh, we serve communion every single week here. Every every, week, every Sunday night uh, during our prayer service, we have communion available. Uh, we, we partake of it every week. Uh, and, and, and the Bible says when you do that, Jesus said, remember me. Remember what I've done. Remember what has taken place. When we, when we, when we partake of the bread, the bread represents the body of Christ. and It represents... That we're healed. Amen. We're healed in Jesus' name. We're healed from the, from the curse of sin. We've been healed. Amen. From the curse of sin in every aspect of it. Uh, spiritually speaking, physically speaking, by his stripes. Uh, uh, Peter tells us we were healed. And that, and that includes every aspect of healing. Glory to God. And then, then the cup reminds us of his shed blood. And I think of the cup and I think of the, the pure the holiness it represents and the forgiveness and the cleansing it represents. It, it, it brought me close to God. It, the cup, the blood of Jesus speaks better things, the Bible says, and it proclaims that I'm right with God. It proclaims that you're born again, that you are right with Jesus. And the Bible says he did this for us. We read that. Do this in remembrance of me, that he did this. His body was broke for us. His blood was spilt for us. In other words, Jesus paid it off. Jesus paid it off. Glory to God. His body, that bread that represents his body, it was broken. Amen. That the price might be paid for sin. His blood was shed that you and I might have the right to partake of what that body, of what that body paid for. Amen. The body, the body represents the price paid. The blood spill represents. Yours and my right to it. Glory to God. Look what he says in verse 26. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. In other words, as often as you do this, you remember. You remember. I mean, this is coming back. Glory. I mean, this is coming back soon. Yes. And I'll go ahead and tell you the truth. He's coming soon to a town near you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. He said, do this in remembrance of me. If you're here today and you're free from sin, you're born again, it's because Jesus Christ shed his blood on your behalf. Amen. He gave his life so that ours could be spared. You ought to remember that. Amen. If you're saved, you owe it to the Lord. Amen. To give him glory and praise for what he has done for you. You ought to remember that. Don't take for granted this great salvation that that we have. Today, because of the very grace of God, amen, we have freedom to serve our Lord in this nation. The Bible says, uh, Psalms 32, 12, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. In other words, that verse tells me that God has blessed America because we have made him our God. Amen? We made him. I, I'm telling you, I'm reminded of what Elijah said. I know sometimes it seems like you watch the news and, and you watch certain certain people's aspect of, of, how, of, of what our country is and what our country ain't. But I'm reminded of what Elijah told his servant one time when the enemy was surrounding Elijah on all sides. And, and, and his servant was all kind of freaked out, and Elijah, the man of God, looked at his servant and said, don't worry, for there will be more that be with us than those that be with them. I'm telling you, our country is blessed. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Glory to God. We ought to remember that. The Bible says in um, Proverbs 14, 34, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to whom you. Righteousness exalts a nation. What does that mean? That means a righteous people will cause a nation to rise up. Glory to God. We ought to remember that as we conduct ourselves in life. I will remember today and tomorrow and the rest of this week, all those who have gone before us, preserving our nation's freedom, okay? Let's remember the one who's gone before us and preserved our eternal freedom. Can you say amen? Amen. Can you say glory to God? Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. I told you I was going to my but I wanted to plant a seed in your heart. Amen. I wanted to plant a memorial day seed. Not only to honor those who 
this day represents, but also the one that, that we have to never forget. Keep them always in the forefront of our speaking. Father, I thank you for today. Father, we do remember those who have paid the ultimate price. Lord, we remember that you paid the ultimate price, that we might enjoy freedom, Lord God, from the, from the grips of death, hell, and the grave, Lord. We, we remember this, Lord God. We honor you. We honor them today, Lord God. Father, I ask you to bless them today over this food, over these activities, over our families. Let there be fellowship. Let there be, uh, let there be uh, neck hugging and, and back slapping and, and just a good time, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord God. Father, we ask for your mercy and grace in the name of the Lord. Can you say amen? amen. With that in mind.